Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel and guys, welcome back. Tonight we're going to be talking about a little bit <clears throat> more of an in-depth look at our account and kind of what we did today uh, to make some coins, to not make some coins and kind of talk about the process of uh, weekends and, and why the market goes up. Obviously the headliners promo is coming very soon. Uh, people are speculating that Ben Yedder is on the left and that potentially Fabinho is on the right. So very excited for this. We will be streaming tomorrow for the promo and we will be streaming at night uh, trying out some of the new promo players uh, and all that stuff. And we should be streaming tonight as well. Uh, so by the time some of you guys watch this video, <clears throat> we may be live already. And uh, yeah, so uh, I got started. Uh, 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 I just ate some food and now I think we're good. I think it was a little stuck. Um, so I just got started, guys, uh, on my squad battles grind. I just want to tell you guys this for my swaps. Uh, I think I have two out of five. So what I decided was I'm going to get two tokens. So I'm going to play eight squad battles games and then I, uh, before 1 p.m. tomorrow. I'm going to get two tokens. I don't need three because I'm not going to use the max amount of tokens. So I'm going to try my best to get two uh, tokens. So just to keep you guys updated on the people that were motivating me. But today, I want to talk with you guys about Thursday, the market, the premise of why it goes up. And all that kind of stuff. If you guys enjoy the video, uh, a thumbs up is appreciated. And I'm going to kind of walk you guys through. So, uh, yesterday we got a lot of panic selling on the market. Now, in my opinion, the best weeks to invest for the weekend. And obviously, the, the concept of the market going up on the weekend, guys, is due to the fact, okay, that there's weekend league. There's rivals games to play. People buy teams on the weekends. It's just more of a day where people are playing FIFA. Um so, so basically, yesterday we got this mid base or mid icon pack, and this is a 450k pack. So, what people did was they sold players off yesterday to obtain this pack. Now, obviously, people did that more often than not on a Wednesday because they know the day after they're gonna get rewards, so they're gonna get coins into their account, anyways. So, yesterday was a really good buy time, and I focused on a couple of players. Now, the main thing that I focused on was icons. I bought a lot of icons yesterday that I thought people would use for the weekend league. Uh, now, the index yesterday went down to like 75, 76. It's actually only at 78. But if this does get closer to 80, it's a pretty big rise on icons. You're seeing some pretty nice some pretty nice trends on a couple of these icons. Um, and it's it's a healthy sign for the market. I mean, you'll see on my trade tra transfers. We we have picked up a Socrates. He's 456 right now. We picked him up. Uh, we picked him up at a nice price. We got him at like, I think, 420 something yesterday. So we'll show you guys that on the transfers. But I focused on a couple of the gold metas today. Now, something that really did impact today's rise, I will say this EA today dropped <clears throat> a couple of league SPCs. So these brought tradable packs to the market and they hired the pack weight. I can I tell you that for sure. This The store pack weight is higher now. Um, and that's due to the fact that I think EA is trying to drop the prices of fodder a little bit. So always the market goes up a lot before one which is 6 p.m. UK, and then you get some supply for a couple hours, it goes down again, and then it usually goes up a ton at night and then the next day as well. And I think now that people know that this week we don't have team of the year, the market is going up a lot more uh, right now, and it's going to keep going up tonight because we don't have team of the year. So I think people are going to buy into teams, they're going to play their rivals games, that whole thing. Um, and also, you know, I think a lot of times we would have a unique situation where today the market might get a little stale at night because it's New Year's Eve, but I think a lot of people, it's, it's kind of with COVID, it's kind of a night where... What else are you going to do? I mean, I'm going to be streaming. I'm not doing anything too special. So, um, yeah. So, really, guys, I yesterday focused on, I bought like 15 Contes at like 235-ish, 240. Um, I bought like 15 Pogba's at 110. Messi was a great one. I sniped three Messi's yesterday at 355. I actually sold them at 390 this morning. Uh, Messi, Messi was a great one. Um, and he's back up now. Um, and so there was a lot of really good rises today. Salah was a guy that I bought a lot of at 230 to 235. He was 255 this morning. Now climbing back up was just 245 an hour ago. And that was because of supplies I just talked about. So you kind of have this opportunity on Thursdays to even kind of do this little, a little bit of a double dip into the market if that's what you're interested in, right? So really when we go ahead and we take a look at the club, I mean, I got up, I invested yesterday like a good 20 million into the market. Uh, I got up to six mil this morning, and then I, you know, as you can see, I don't have a lot of coins again, and that's because I kind of reinvested into the market. So let's go through. We'll talk about a couple of the plays that I made and why I made them. So David Beckham, this is a prime icon, and this guy I actually bought today with the supply of the new uh, League SBCs. Now, the reason I bought David Beckham was, number one, I have sold this card over 10 times. He is a great icon to trade with. Um, he was 1-2 all morning, 
And it's a very car. It's a car that I know that people want to use, right? So he went down a one, two this afternoon and I picked up two. There was one at 1.1 and one at 1.085. I got two of them already sold one at one, eight, one, one, eight, five. The tax year is about 55 K. So the other one that we have, uh, is going to make us, uh, some decent coins. This is going to be potentially 30 K or, or maybe even 40 K. And this one was at one Oh eight, five, which means we're making 45 K on this David Beckham, which is great. This Chavi I bought yesterday with the panic of the base icon. I bought them at like 410, 453, a really nice sale. And then this a lot. Look, this is what I kind of been doing. And this is why I didn't sell all the cards that were up today because I always sell on Thursdays for lazy buyers. I am a lazy buyer. If you guys go into my club, I can kind of show you exactly what a lazy buyer is, okay? If you guys take a look in my club, I'm exactly what makes a lazy buyer a lazy buyer. I bought a Messi for 4 million coins because that's what lazy buyers do. Um, but no, all jokes aside, um, I always list my cards about 2% higher than their market price. Uh, and I kind of adjust it because I know people will always, always, always pay that little bit extra. Sometimes if they're lazy, I do it with SBCs. So people do that. So Gerard was an icon we bought in the panic. Guys, Salah was a player that I, I thought was going to go up to like 740 this weekend, right? And I still kind of think it's going to happen tomorrow night. Now, I already sold one at 717 and 705. Uh, he went down a lot yesterday. And the reason why he went down so much was because of the base icon, mid icon pack. So I was actually buying him in the morning. I got a couple for 660. And then I bought more at 640. So I'm trying to sell him a little bit higher. Guys, something I bought today that didn't really work out too well. And well, it did work. It did work, but it's not working great. Was I bought a bunch of long lays at 130 slash 129. And it's just kind of like, eh. And I bought a bunch of deniers at 35, 34. And I got two sales at 40 so far, but it's not going great. And I think we had these league SBCs bring a lot of supply to the market. You guys can see my Salahs are listed in the mid 260s. I've got some Pogba's listed. And then some icons too. I think Thursdays are also a really good time to buy prime icons for the next couple of weeks. There's going to be a point in time where prime icons actually start to go up on Thursdays. But right now, the supply of the prime icons is beating the demand. So they're dropping on Thursdays a bit. And then we also have the, the, the notorious Varan who goes up literally every single weekend. He's 206 now. He was just 198, but we bought some yesterday at the 190s. So we're looking to get some sales in like the 215 range. So that's what I'm really working with today. And that's kind of what my transfer list, you know, really looks like. And those are the types of cards um, that I'm going for. And you guys can see, I mean, the main idea is that these are all cards that people are going to take and use uh, in the weekend league. These are players that people are building for their rivals teams and things like that. Now, icons are great to trade. And if you can learn to trade icons, I really recommend them. Now, I bought a Prime Rivaldo today at 620. This guy was 720 yesterday. Now, he's not up at a price yet where I'm really happy to sell. But I just figured it was too low. I thought it was too low. And I'm hoping to get like 680 at a point when he does rebound. I think there's going to be a point in time where a lot of these prime icons do in fact rebound. And when they do, you know, I'll be able to make some decent coins of them. But for now, they are pretty low. I even got a prime Haji at 500K, which is a pretty low price. But now that he, now that this prime Haji's, it does look like prime Haji's up a bit. I'm going to go ahead and list that 545. Now we know the tax at 500K is 25K. So 545 is a great flip because that's 20K. Uh, mid on was a guy that we bought yesterday. There was some big panic on some of the mid icons yesterday. I can't tell you exactly why. I don't know if people thought they were going to pack him or not. He's not really up that much, right? He's not up that much. We bought him at 730, but really I do think I can get 800 for him at a point in time. I'm just going to have to be patient. Mid Pirlo, uh, looks like right now he's got a 453 is the cheapest bin. Uh, we bought him at 420. So again, still making some decent coins there. B uh, mid bird camp. This one's not looking too good. Um, I think we have another Chavi in our club here. We picked this up for 425. Uh, Chavi's actually up a lot, man. Chavi's up at like 455. And what's really good for you guys to see here is that there's a real uniqueness with these new icons. The ones that go up the most are these newer icons, man. Even the primes, like they trend like crazy. The new anything that's like a new card on FIFA this year uh, just seems to be doing so well on the market. Guys, this Zambrata we bought in some of the peak panic yesterday. At 325, looks like he's really doing well this week. Um, he's back up to like 358, so we'll take the money there. That's a great return. I'm um, really happy with that. And then this is the Socrates that I talked about. We picked him up at 425. And I think we had one in the trench list. And then really the, the last interesting thing that I'll show you guys is that uh, even though Rashford's inform right now is actually not up, like and not that expensive, like you'd think a newer Rashford, the left mid version would be like, I don't know, a lot more than it is right now. It's only like 880. Even though that is happening, this rebounded a lot. And so we picked up one of these at 570 yesterday. And I'm looking to get like 620 probably, hopefully for him, 615. But 
really guys just going into games and playing and understanding who people are using is such a good way to make coins like today i played three games of rivals and two people had this in from rashford and so it shows it can really give you an idea or a sense of like where is the general demand or where's the popularity or you know what what is the most popular version of a player and i think the reason that this card is specifically so undervalued uh this left mid version is just because i think left mids are so like popular and already uh uh, you know, kind of like pre prevalent in this game. We have so many left mids and I just think that central players are always the players that are going to be selling for more, always going to be the players that have that that kind of like market value rarity um, and all that stuff. But yeah, I mean, Thursdays guys are really good opportunities to make coins if you can play it right, if you play your cards right. I mean, usually I think that icons are always cheapest on Wednesdays. Um, gold metas are usually cheapest on... It really depends on the week because a gold meta... like. The, it all depends on when EA releases pack supply because that really fuels the market. Like if we don't have any pack supply in the week, then gold medals are always cheapest on like Monday morning, Sunday night, um, or even Saturday. But yeah, it's it's really hard to know um, with EA because they, they are really in control of the market because they can kind of drop a pack or supply pretty much whenever they want, which is not fair, but it's kind of how it goes. And, and it's, it's kind of something that we have to deal with as FIFA players, like the randomness of EA dropping stuff like that. So... Yeah, that's my video for today, guys. I hope it helped. Um, trying to give you guys some insight in terms of like what I'm doing. It, you know, it hasn't been a crazy profit day for me. Um, I'm, I'm stretching out some really, really tight margins, to be honest. And that's because EA dropped all these league SBCs and we had a lot of pack supply. So just wanted to kind of share you, with you guys, you know, as well as I can of what kind of moves that I've made in the last 24 hours and give you guys an insight in terms of one of the many ways that I do make coins on this account um, and give you guys a little bit more of a hands-on kind of concept or idea of, of how it all works. So thanks for watching the video today, guys. I appreciate all of you um, and see you in a video soon. Peace.